Welcome back everyone, Kathleen Hart here from the Little Piece of Heart blog. Today I'm taking it back to basics and what I'm going to show you is how to do one of my favorite all-time side dishes, rice. But it's going to be low carb and we're going to make it with cauliflower. Now I know you've probably seen a million different recipes for cauliflower rice, but how do you actually start with the base, which is just getting the cauliflower into rice form? Well I'm going to show you that today and then I'm going to show you how to do something really quick to microwave it and then you have a perfect rice side dish. So to get started we have two heads of cauliflower here and I'm just showing you these so that you can see what I did. I took off the stems on the bottom, I took off all of these big leaves, discarded them, cut off the top. Now if you have some blemishes on your cauliflower, doesn't mean you shouldn't buy it. All you have to do is take a knife and just really quickly go along the edge and get rid of all of those, you know, if they're brown pieces. It's fine. It's still good. So, what I'm going to do now is show you two different ways on how you can get cauliflower into rice form. Now, if you don't have a food processor, which I didn't actually for a few years until my wedding registry, you can use a box grater. Now, this is my antique looking grater. I love this thing. I'm not going to get rid of it. I don't care how bad it looks. I love it. Um, what we're going to do is cut the cauliflower in half. We're going to start with this one. And this is so simple. It's really, really simple. You want to just cut it in half. Now, this is going to get a little messy. Spoiler alert. Take your box grater. Go on the biggest setting here and just take your whole head, half head, I should say, cauliflower. Whoopsie, we're losing some already. Hold it like this. And on the side with the florets, you're just going to want to go down. Now, this seems like you're going to get like a cheese grater type of thing with long strips, but because of the way that the cauliflower is shaped, that's not going to happen. And I'm going to get most of this grated. Now just keep moving it around until you get um, all of the florets kind of grated up into here. And I'll show you what it looks like when I'm all done. All right, so in just a couple seconds, we have grated that whole cauliflower half of a head. And as you can see here, all I really have left is the, um, I don't know, stem, whatever you call it. And then the florets are all inside here. So I wanted to show you exactly what that looks like. If you have a couple little florets like this, you can just kind of do them really easily with your hand just to get them into smaller pieces, but it's not even going to make a difference. And look what we have here. Cauliflower rice. And as you can see, it's into really small pieces. And actually, once this cooks, it takes on the same texture as rice and it even has kind of like a chewy bite like rice does and you will be pleasantly surprised and you're going to be saving yourself a ton of carbs, a ton of calories, which is what we don't want. We want to eat food that is healthy and fresh and just good for you and this will make you feel good after you eat it. So we have half of a head of cauliflower here. Now I'm going to show you how to make the other half using a food processor and what you're going to do you just want to cut off the florets just like this and because we're using a food processor you don't have to chop this into really small pieces the food processor is going to do all of the work which is amazing because the less work you have to do the better which is why this is such a great simple side dish because it comes together so quickly I want to get rid of all the leaves sometimes there's a couple stragglers so we want to get rid of those then I'm just going to break the florets just as they just as you can see as they break on their own and like this big piece, I do want to just cut that in half. It's a little too big. Only because I want all of this to pulse together and all break up at the same time. So you want all the pieces to kind of be the same size. Because if not, you're going to get some pieces that are get really pulverized and some pieces that stay in big chunks. So we're going to just lay these on the inside of our food processor, just right around in a circle. And just watch at how simple this is. It's great. That's why... Invest, your, invest in a uh, food processor. It doesn't have to be a great one. You can get them at Walmart for like, you know, $20, $30. Do it because it really saves time and it's just a great tool to have in the kitchen. We got everything in there. We are going to pulse this a couple times just to start and then I'll show you exactly when you know when to stop. We want to pulse it to break up the big pieces. You're going to want to watch it. Once you see that almost all of the big pieces are broken up, get down in there, take a look at it, and then you want to turn it on, and then as soon as the cauliflower is pulsing, it's going to start creeping up the inside of the bowl. As soon as it starts doing that, we know we have our rice texture. Here we go. 
See that? <laughs> it, it pulses and then it rises right up. Perfect. Okay, let's take a look at this. Oh, same thing. It's perfect. Look at it. It's nice and powdery, just like rice. Now you could actually use this and put it in soups. That's You can sub it for pasta, pastina. Um, you know, you could actually make it as a subbed rice dish, and that's what I'm going to show you next. So now that we have our cauliflower rice grated or food processed, however you guys did it, we are going to make a quick side dish of just a buttered rice. Well, rice, cauliflower rice. So that's exactly how I used to like eating rice. And actually, Jason and I used to eat rice with grilled chicken. We would have it with meatloaf. We would have it with anything. Like, it used to be something that I ate three or four times a week. So now we just subbed it for cauliflower. So it's great. What I have here is just half of a head of the cauliflower, grated cauliflower. And I like to put it in a low, shallow bowl because we want to have a large surface area because we're going to be popping this in the microwave for a few minutes and then we have a great side dish. So you could also sub and use a plate, but my big dinner plates actually don't fit in my microwave. They keep getting stuck, so I'm just going to use this bowl. And what I want to do is make a little well in the middle because we are going to use some good old-fashioned butter. In case you didn't know, it's butter, okay? But yeah, we're going to use, I don't know, just a little, just like a little piece. And I mean, actually, any veggies covered in butter and salt and pepper, I mean, taste good anyway. So now you're kind of making a sub for rice that's also a vegetable. I mean, it's just a win-win, I think. And what I want to do is just kind of cover it up a little bit, put it in back on top, and then we want to do some salt, just sprinkle it right on top. And then we're also going to do some cracked black pepper. Perfect. Okay, so you're going to season the, rice, the cauliflower rice, I should say, just like you would season any other rice that you have. If you like a lot of pepper, great. If you like a lot of salt, go ahead. This is going to be great because we are flavoring the rice at this stage. So I'm going to pop this into my microwave for one minute. And after that minute, I'm going to be right back here and I'm going to show you what to do before we pop it in for a second minute. That's right. Two minutes is all it takes to have a quick cauliflower rice side. So I'll meet you right back here in one minute. Well, that was fast. One minute has gone by. We have microwaved our rice on high. And what I'm going to do, just as if it was regular rice, it kind of needs to be fluffed a little bit. So we're going to kind of move everything into the middle and just do a quick stir. You see our butter is in there. It's getting melted now. And then you can kind of judge if you want to add more butter or not. You can always add more, of course, when you're serving it. You know, people can add their own. But I like to season the cauliflower with a little bit of butter while it's cooking because I feel like it, when it melts in with the cauliflower and the salt and pepper, I just feel like it really takes on and grabs the cauliflower and gives it a lot of flavor. So I'm actually going to do just one more little pat of butter. And we're going to put it, do the same thing. We're going to kind of flatten it out again, put it right in the middle, and cover it up. We are almost there. We are halfway there. One more minute in the microwave. I'll meet you right back here to show you what it looks like when it's done. So the second minute has gone by. Our cauliflower was in the microwave for one minute. I fluffed it and then we put it in for one more minute. And this is what we have here. Beautiful cauliflower rice. Now what I like to do is just fluff it up one more time. And as you can see, it even looks like rice at this point. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Let's take a little taste, because remember, we have butter and we have salt and pepper on this. You know, you can put whatever seasoning you like. You could add some garlic powder, some onion powder, you know, some thyme, like whatever you have or like whatever flavors you like to season your actual rice with, you can put it into cauliflower. So I'm take a little spoonful here. Mmm, mm. it's great. It's perfect. It's so simple. The texture is like cooked rice. <laughs> It's great. You can take this and use it as a base to do so many more recipes. I'm actually going to share a couple more rice recipes, well, cauliflower rice recipes coming soon. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel, excuse me, so you don't miss any of my new recipes that are coming out. And if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up underneath so that I know that you guys like it. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And this recipe, as well as many others, you can find on my blog little piece of heart, and I will see you guys so soon. It's going to be great. See you next time.